Hello and welcome to this week's Talk of the Town show. We have a great show planned for you, so we're gonna get right to it. I would like to introduce Dr. Jeff Aberly with Aberly Chiropractic Clinic right here in Madison. And we're gonna to talk today about restoring your health through chiropractic work. So let's get right to that. What is the common question that you hear from your clients over and over as far as how you can help them with their health? Well, I can help them in a lot of different ways. Most people come to a chiropractor usually because they hurt. They're in some kind of pain and they want it gone. Um, but I can do a lot more than just that. So let's say somebody comes to me with neck pain or a low back pain or a hip problem or something. And you, you point out what's causing that and it's usually a structural problem and a postural problem. But then you also point out that they're not breathing well and you have them take a deep breath in and they work like crazy to try to get that breath in. And after you get done treating them and I get everything lined up the best I can that day, and they can breathe better, they can take a deeper breath, so that's nice. Right. It, it's, it's really neat for athletes. Athletes love this stuff because they can actually get more air into their lungs with every breath. They, their posture pops up, their shoulders are back, and they're not working at it, you know, because you look kind of silly if you're trying to hold your shoulders right. back and be you know, macho-like, right? So with this type of work, you restore posture in a natural way and, and you get rid of people's pains at the same time. It's wonderful. You bring up a great point. A lot of people might not know the difference between a chiropractor and a medical doctor because you work on so many more things, as you just said, than just the back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's two different professions and you really need both of them. Chiropractic, chiropractors deal with structure, they deal with posture alignment, they deal with breathing. Uh, a lot of us also focus on nutritional stuff, you know, improving the diet, taking nutritional supplements, enzymes, digestive function. So there's a lot of natural stuff there. Um, the medical doctors tend to work with prescription medications, they work with over-the-counter medications, surgeries. So there's different ways of looking at health. Now it's interesting because both professions oftentimes treat the same things. It's just totally different methodologies about how to treat it. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of the big difference between the two. Let's talk about some of your treatments and your methods for getting there because people sometimes just believe, all right, I'm going to go in, I'm going to lay on this table <clears throat> and they're just going to crack every, every uh, bone in my back and they're going to make me feel better. But you really kind of go the safe method and uh, tell us about that method. Well, see, here's, here's what fundamentally goes wrong in the human body is that bones, if they get if, in your spine, if they get shoved forward, there is no muscle to pull that back. Okay. That is the fundamental thing that goes wrong in the human body. And so when that gets shoved forward, you've got to push that back because there's no muscle that can physically do it. We just don't have muscles that can do it. And the simplest thing is, do you, do you ever crack your knuckles? I do, do you? unfortunately. Do you, how do you do it? I twist them from side to side. Okay, do you ever pull them? No. Okay, you twist them from side to side, right? I do. Now, do it without this hand. Go well, ahead. I can't. You can't, right? Why? Because I need this one to help. You need a muscle to do that, right? right? And so when you, when you crack your knuckles, you need something else to do it. Now with your fingers, you have your other hand to do that. Sure. But how are you gonna do that with your back? Yeah, you can't. You can't do it. I can't do it myself. It drives me nuts if something's out on me and I'm like, oh man, if I could just, you know. If I could just go see crazy. a chiropractor. Yeah, but I need somebody else that can get the leverage to do it and move it back in right. place. So you don't have to crack everything. It's not like you go face down and you crunch everything. In fact, I don't even put people face down. My adjusting is done up against the wall. The person gives themselves a hug. I come and hug them. I have my hand behind the back and I just give them a little push up against the wall. And then that pushes the bone back into place. Um, very, very simple. Um, you know, so there's, there's more to it, but it's also that easy. That makes a lot of sense. Now, do a lot of your customers feel better instantly? Is it that instant gratification or is it, all right, in a couple days, you're going to feel this and you're going to feel much better? It's most of the time it's instant. They're wow. like, oh, you know, that kind of a sensation right. where they're like, yeah, that's exactly what I needed. So that's, that's what I love about it. And people usually, their first visit, it's eye-opening for them because they're standing up, they can't slump. My, my, my definition when people are done is I'm looking at them from the side, they're standing up, right? I have them breathe in, they take a deep breath in, they take a deep, let their breath out, and they let their bodies relax. And if they slump, I know I miss something. Wow. Okay, it's, yes, it's that profound. And so it's, they're, they're bones, your bones are supposed to hold you up, not your muscles. Okay. So there's this big myth out there that, oh, you gotta strengthen, you gotta do all this core stuff, don't you hear that? Mm -hmm. Your yeah. core exercises to exactly. get your posture better. It's, if you get the bony alignment back in better positions, and you unwind the person's frame, the, the posture restores up on itself and, it, and you just don't have to hold, use your muscles to hold yourself up. It's the neatest thing. One more last question. I just want to talk about the people who have other issues other than just their back. They may have headaches. They may have other things going on in their body. There's a chance that chiropractic work can help whatever they are facing. Huge chance. 
Yeah, it's a huge possibility. It's basically, it, it, the simplest way you can say it is as long as your pain is not coming from cancer, infections, or fractures, then I'll probably be able to correct it on you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and most people know if they have cancer or they have pain from cancer. Sure. Infections, most people do not have bone infections, which is the painful one. And broken bone, you know if you have a broken bone. So most of the things, headaches, neck pain, shoulder problems, back pain, foot problems, knee problems, it's this whole laundry list of different complaints that you can get because when you start restoring the structural integrity of the body, all that stuff just fades away. Great insight, thank you so much. Dr. Jeff Aberly, Aberly Chiropractic Clinic. You wanna go see him for any problems you may have. More Talk of the Town is coming up right after this. Welcome back to the show. We're back with Tessa Kenny from the Alliance Realty team. Now tell us yes. how you really form a different type of an atmosphere with your team approach. Well, Alliance Realty team, it truly is a team atmosphere. What I did with my partner, who is fabulous, Kyle Broom, is we sat down and we looked at every real estate company out there. We took the positives and the negatives, and for the negatives, we found a solution. So we truly do, we, we work together collectively underneath Alliance. Okay, now how is, um, say, buying a home different if I work with you compared to somebody else who runs things with a another little differently? Company. Well, for a lot of reasons. Um, mainly, we take the home buyer through the entire process. We will, from start to finish, we'll walk you through everything, we'll educate, uh, we'll direct you to highly recommended uh, lenders, for example. Uh, we also have somebody who is on the back side of everything, making sure that all your contingency deadlines are met and and that the deal doesn't fall apart. Well, and that's key because it's a lot to, especially if you, this is a first time thing for you, yeah, it's a lot to keep straight. It so you be. really need that help. What mm -hmm. in, how about on the other side when you're selling your home? Well, that's the, the most, that's my favorite part. Uh, we have innovative new customized signs in which we actually display um, photos and all the information on the actual sign, the for sale sign that we oh, put okay. outside. And uh, that, you know, alleviates any problems with empty brochure boxes and it just attracts and shows our quality. Well, there's nothing worse than going up, seeing a house of your dreams and having the box yes. be empty. So that definitely clears that up. Yes. Um, what about some innovative real estate tools that you guys have coming out soon? What are those? Well, we have a pretty exciting new web application coming out. Um, it's in the development stages right now, but it will be a, a great asset for our agents and it will also be a fun, useful tool for home buyers. So. For the people that come to you, are they nervous? Are they scared? Are they excited? You know, all of those emotions in one, all I would imagine. Mix. So your job must be to, like work you said, them, educate, work yep. but yet get them excited for possibly finding or selling their home. Yes, yes. And, you know, we do residential sales. We also work with commercial, leasing, all of the above. So we're there to help you with any of your real estate needs. And you're right. It can be, anything can happen, and we're there to help. Now you guys kind of use the uh, the quote, we form an alliance. We what do. does that mean and how does that impact well, the people that you help? Well, we've had really good feedback on that. Uh, we form an alliance not only with our agents, but with our uh, clients, home buyers or sellers, uh, commercial property, buying, selling. Um, by doing this though, we just show that we're dedicated to you, that we truly want to help you as a client. And in the end, everybody's happy. Well, everybody is happy and that's, that's a good thing. What would you say is the number one mistake that people make um, either in the process before they come to you mm -hmm. or maybe during or just something that people can improve on? Well, I can think of a lot, um, <laughs> but I would say, you know, a lot of home buyers out there, they don't know that we represent you for free. So by coming to us, letting us represent you on your, in your best interest, that's a huge, huge thing that most people don't know. Um, you know, it, it can go, a deal can go either way, but if you have someone that's on your side, you're going to be protected. Just tell us your um, website and your Facebook page where sure. people know where they can find you on the web. Well, on Facebook, it's just backslash Alliance Realty Team, and then we have a www.alliancerealtyteam.com. What about for the people that are thinking, okay, I, I'm not sure if I want to do this myself or if I want to have somebody, um, you know, come to my house and, mm -hmm. and help me do this process. What would you uh, say to them? How can you be of help? I'd say call us. Whether you want to work with us or not, we can at least let you know, maybe, or at least gain a better understanding of the situation, of the real estate market, and hopefully point you in the right direction overall. 
So right here in Madison, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. how would you describe the real estate market right now? It is getting very busy. I'm so excited. I can only imagine how great it will be for Alliance. And that is pretty uh, amazing that yes. this time of year, all the snow, everybody in the winter, everybody's in their house. They're not going outside. They're still people are still buying and still selling. They still are, and it's going to get busier and busier. All right, Alliance Realty called Tessa yes. Kenny. She will help you out. More Talk of the Town is right after this. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We have two very exciting and spunky guests with us today, and we are talking about kombucha. Let me introduce Ala and Vanessa, and you guys are with Ness Ala Kombucha. First of all, uh, we see we see the drinks in front of us, but tell us what that is. Kombucha <laughs> is a fermented drink. Uh, it's uh, it's known to have probiotics, B vitamins, C vitamins, helps your body detoxify and boost your immune system. Okay. Now, how is this used? Is this do you just drink it you by just itself? Drink it by itself. Um, you can mix it with juice or you know whatever you like to drink. Or we use it as a. a, a cocktail mixer as well for an adult beverage from yes. time to time yeah well how did you come up with this um, well we met and we had a lot in common we were both herbalists and we just started playing around with different ideas and kombucha just happened to be something that we found to be very interesting and we just were passionate about it because it was a way for people to um, get healthy well, I would imagine this has just taken off because especially around the Madison area, there's mm -hmm. a lot of people and it seems like more and more every day that are caring about what they're eating, what they're drinking, and where it came from. And it sounds like this has all of those things uh, of importance that you guys have already yeah. thought of. <clears throat> Definitely. Exactly. We really, our whole thing is to educate people about their health and to really educate them as to what they're putting in their bodies. And that's why we decided to go with kombucha because it does have all of those things like you mentioned. So are there different flavors or is there one standard flavor? We have uh, seven flavors. We have a raspberry, blueberry, a traditional oolong. We have a seasonal that we do, you know, uh, throughout the different seasons. Mm -hmm. um, and we use herbs that are good for your body during that season. Uh, we also have a lemongrass ginger and a peach blush. And where can people find all of this? <clears throat> all over town. We are also in five states, so we are regional, but here in town, Willie Street Co-op, East and West, Woodman's, all three locations, Hy-Vee, Metcalf's, both locations. A lot of different bars and restaurants around town also carry it, and they have it on tap at Heritage Tavern and at Mermaid. Wow. Is, yeah. This is so cool. I wish we were taste testing today. <laughs> um, you guys work with a lot of different companies as well. Why is that? We like to work with local companies. Uh, we use Rishi Tea, which is out of Milwaukee. Um, they support clean water and all of their uh, places that they get their tea. Uh, they're fair trade and organic. Uh, we use organic sugar. Uh, we work with WB, which is a bottle distributor out of Milwaukee as well. Mm -hmm. And tell me what a SCOBY is and what you can do with that. <laughs> a SCOBY is a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. It's basically the mother culture of kombucha, kind of like apple cider vinegar sometimes has that floater in there. Sure. It's the same principle and basically there's, you know, it's you a could, cellulose yeah. structure. Yeah. Okay. So you can brew kombucha with it, but we also have a gal that we know in Davis, California that's actually making clothes and jewelry out of and the I'm scobies. Some. We, we have some earrings on and Vanessa's got a necklace, but she's actually wow. making couture designs that she's going to be in Fashion Week in Sacramento and we send her what we call our retired scobies. Mm -hmm. So when we're done with them, we pack them up and seal them up and they look really funny going in the mail. Yeah. yeah, but she's repurposing them, which is really awesome. That's pretty amazing. Now you guys just got back from the first ever international kombucha convention yes. out in LA. Yeah. What's that like? It was, I mean, it was the first ever, so it was really just sort of nerve wracking. You know, everybody, I mean, this is such a sort of a close niche uh, product that people were kind of guarded at first, yeah. but by the end of the conference, we were all like, this is awesome. We're together. We can do this together. Let's start yeah. sharing information and working together and just really to get the word out about kombucha and, you know, why it's so awesome for you. Well, I'm sure that's one of the biggest things is you have to get people to try it yeah. because once they right. try it and love it and then they realize that it's good for you. Right. They see the results themselves. It yeah. speaks yeah. For, the, for itself. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, really, I know you guys are both herbalists, but I mean, take me back to the day where like you're inventing this and then you think you have something and you're like, all right, let's not just keep this for ourselves. Let's make this a business. Yeah. Well, I started brewing kombucha when I was living in California and I was going to herb school. 
and my herb teacher was like, okay, you guys, this is kombucha, this is what it's all about. Um, and then we moved here to Madison and nobody knew anything about it until um, a few years later, Vanessa started seeing it at the co-op. The co-op when okay. I was working there. Yeah. And I loved it and it just instantly, and then I found out you could make it. And I was like, hey, we should, we should, we should do this. <laughs> because we were starting to do herbal classes because we wanted to educate the community on how to help their bodies, how to become healthier. And this is a, it's a very easy, accessible way for people to start you know, doing something good for their bodies. Sure, and you guys are in the perfect environment for that because I feel like Madisonians are all about finding new ways to improve their life. And yeah. all, I mean, the, the um, farmer's markets yeah. and the mm -hmm. chefs around town. And I mean, I would imagine the bartenders are like, all right, let's give this a try. Yeah, yeah. all yeah. the different Madis things you can make with it. Yeah, Madison yeah. has been amazing to us. The community here is so wonderful and they've just fully embraced us. We really wouldn't be as where we are today without the community in Madison. Yeah. And yeah, like bars and restaurants and chefs and you know, there's so many foodies here. and. It's awesome. Yeah, that's a nice mix. Just tell us the website and your Facebook page where people can find you guys out. Both uh, f uh, find us on Nasala uh, Kombucha on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Uh, we're also on Vine, which is super fun. And our website is www.nasala.com. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Thank I you, can't Annie. wait to try yes. this. All right, Definitely. more talk of the town is right after this. Hello and welcome back to Talk of the Town. Our last guest today is Sierra Pope Munoz with the Aldo Leopold Nature Center, one of my favorite places <laughs> in town. It is truly a gem right in the middle of the city. So let's start back with the very beginning and tell us who Aldo Leopold is. Yeah, so Aldo Leopold is a famed ecologist. He is the author of the Sand County Almanac, which uh, chronicled his observations about nature um, in Baraboo, Wisconsin, which is where his family had their summer home. He also taught at the UW-Madison here, and he wrote about something called the land ethic, which is really considering ourselves and nature as a part of a shared community and really having that sense of living lightly on the land and living sustainably. I love that, and yeah. it's a great message for everybody living here, but most importantly for something to be called a nature center and, and your space. Tell us about your space if people haven't been there before. Yeah, so the Aldo Leopold Nature Center is in Monona. Um, we've been there since 1994. Um, we also gained a satellite facility in Black Earth in the Driftless region in 2003. And then in 2012, we had a major expansion of our Monona facility. So we maintain over 20 acres of nature trails. So we have native woodland, wetland, and prairie habitats to walk through. We also have an interpretive center with a nature nook indoors for families and a fantastic climate science exhibit, which is our brand new high-tech facility. Well, you can actually come and see different animals. You can come for day trips. You can come for different events that you guys have, a lot of different ways you can come and really utilize the space but nobody knows that better than you because now you're the director of marketing but you started off as a naturalist so kind of take right. us through that role and you were really kind of the spokesperson for when people came out to show off the land absolutely um, one of the best parts of the nature center is our amazing naturalist staff um, we have just this great well-educated staff who loves bringing people out and teaching them about the native habitats that we have and you know any time of year that you come out there's something to explore so right now you could go out and take a guided snowshoe hike and see what kind of animals are leaving tracks and you can do maple syrup science and you can do dipping in the pond to see what critters live there. So. Well and it's so neat because for so many of these families they live in the city right. so they're getting to come to a place out in the middle of the country or though it feels like it even though it's right. in Monona and they're gonna experience something that they may not experience in their own backyard. Right, yeah, it's it's a wonderful place for a family to go and it's, you know, it's not too far off the beaten path, but once you're at the Nature Center, you feel like you're in, you know, you're in a prairie, you're in the woodland mm -hmm. and you can really experience it firsthand and that sort of hands-on nature experience is what we're going for. Now, how does admission work? Is it open to the public? Do you have to have a membership? Right, so the trails outdoors are open to the public and free. Those are open sun up to sundown and we really encourage people to use them. Our Nature Center facilities indoors, we have a nature nook and we also have our fantastic climate science exhibits and those are free for Nature Center members. Um, and there is a small fee for non-members to use the indoor exhibits um, that help 
helps us with our restoration work and educational programs. And now there are actually um, parties and private events that you can book certain spaces that you have for? Yeah, absolutely. So we do a lot of uh, birthday parties and scout programs, but increasingly we do a lot of weddings as well. At our Black Earth and Monona facilities, there's some really beautiful scenic spaces to do a, more of a green wedding, and that seems popular. Well, very popular, very rustic. That's right. uh, a theme that right. seems to be yeah. over overcoming the wedding industry. How important is it for you, and, and you saw this firsthand being a naturalist, when these kids come at a small age and they're able, even for a couple hours, to realize the goal of what was Aldo Leopold's and being kind to the earth and remembering that this is good, this earth is going to be the same earth that generations beyond us are going to also live on. Right. It's it's such an incredible experience to see kids who, you know, maybe have grown up in the city and haven't gotten to get out very much, you know, see a tadpole for the first time or see an animal that they maybe saw in a book before, but they get to see it in real life now and really start to open their eyes to the environment and see what's out there. And it's just such a simple joy that they have. And you know, we say that it's a destination for the kids, but adults yeah. uh, like it just as much. Ken, our floor director, just took his daughter <laughs> there and he sounded like he was just as excited for yeah. her. He's like, I want a chaperone for that trip. Right, oh, it's absolutely, there's something for all ages, absolutely. So we have school programs, we also have public programs and parents get a lot out of it too. And our climate science exhibit has some amazing state-of-the-art high-tech information that's really for for students and grown-ups as well you can learn a lot oh i'm sure now you guys just recently put on uh, some extra space yeah exactly so um, a couple of years ago we had a big expansion um, to add this climate science facility um, we have some really great stuff some touch screens where you can learn more about the the curriculum the phonology behind you know any of the any of the programs that we teach and then we have a science on a sphere which is a six foot round hanging sphere that you can project images of the earth onto it's really amazing um, and we also made a big effort with our expansion to have a green building so we really wanted to practice what we preach um, and, and you can see our green features Sierra, thank you so much for being here. Wonderful place, the Aldo Leopold Nature Center. Make sure you head out there. That's all we have for this week's Talk of the Town, but we hope that you join us next week. Thanks and have a great day. Thank you. Set up a promo record for Emmy, please. Thank you. That's it. Right. Awesome. Thank you very much. Great job. Really fast. Yeah, yeah for sure. Grab that mic for you. Yep. You did a nice job explaining everything. You could tell okay. you were excited. Good. And, yeah. Yeah, it um it really goes really quickly. But <laughs> yeah, but like I was saying, you know, if you ever, you know, want to fill some time, I'm happy to come and talk about any of that. Yeah, events. do you